Ah, nice, ain't it? Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Today, I want to do things a little bit different than we have in the past. Um, we have a library filled with tons and tons of information through video uh, on the website. And some of those videos are very pertinent to what may be going on right now. So um, we're going to introduce, the, reintroduce those um, moving forward every once in a while. Um, today's video is actually going to be about plantar fasciitis. Um, I've had a couple people come talk to me about uh, their feet bothering them a little bit from running and, and their arch and their heel and things like that. I'm not a doctor, but it sounded a little bit like plantar fasciitis. Obviously, you want to get things checked out by a medical professional. Um, but in this video, it's going to kind of tell you what happens, where it comes from. Um, some ways to make sure you uh, heal properly and some ways to prevent it. Um, so check this out. Thank you for being a part of our family. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about something that I've dealt with in my career and I know that some of you guys have dealt with. Um, it's called plantar fasciitis. What that is, is when the bottom of your feet are painful but your plantar fascia becomes inflamed, okay? The plantar fascia is the webbing at the bottom of your feet that starts in your heel, and as it goes along your foot, it starts to spread out and go into your toes. When, basically, your arch. When that becomes inflamed, you get plantar fasciitis, all right? So that can come from poor arch supports, it can come from all of a sudden overdoing it with running, it can come from agility drills, quick reaction drills, and planting, and your feet aren't ready. It can come from um, tight Achilles, tight calves. There's many reasons why this may happen, okay? But what I want to do is just quickly go over some things you can do to get yourself back in action if this happens to happen to you, okay? A um, couple of things. You can uh, use the slam board in here to stretch out your Achilles and your calf so it doesn't pull on the, on the uh, bottom of your feet as much. Um, use baseball, softball, roll the bottom of your foot, including your heel. You might feel some lumpiness in there, that's called crepitus. You want to try to break that all up. Get your heel, the whole surface of your foot, not just one spot, okay? Depending on how bad it is, when you're at home at night, freeze a bottle of water. Okay, once it's frozen, place it on the ground and do the same thing. Just roll the bottom of your foot. Okay, that will give you twice the effect of the softball just because you're now getting that calming effect with the coldness of the ice. Okay, and then as it starts to get better, take a towel, put it underneath your foot and put, basically pull the, the towel towards your body with your toes. That will help get the strength and everything back into your foot, okay? So, uh, really try to focus on those things. If, if you guys start to suffer from any of these signs that you get pain in your feet, let us know, we'll help get you through it. But you can try some of these techniques that will help alleviate that stress and get you back on the ground running with no problem, okay guys? Keep your questions coming if you have anything. Ask us, we'll do our best to answer them for you. Till next time.